Do, 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 do. Left of the box. Hello, welcome to Left of the Box. Bonjour, bienvenue. I'm Sandy. The Ontario School Board Council of Unions, part of the Canadian Union of Public Employees, have gone on strike as of Friday, November 4th. This union represents 55,000 school board workers, which include educational assistants, school library workers, administrative assistants, custodians, early childhood educators, and more. They are the supports that keep our educational system running. Without them, it would collapse. Why have they gone on strike? That's because Doug Ford, who was re-elected as Premier with only 18% of possible votes, passed Bill 28. Please don't forget to hit my buttons. You can follow me on Twitter <sighs> while it lasts. If you can, please support my channel by becoming a patron or purchase something off my wish list to help build my studio. Every little bit helps. Links are in the description box below. Normally I would say this at the end, but many of my viewers may notice a different look to this video. I'm having really bad tech issues and right now I'm trying to use my phone to see if it makes any difference and unfortunately it limits what I can do in my videos. However, on a surprisingly good note, I kid you not, I got a delivery from my wish list today of this lavalier mic I'm using. A special thanks to the person who purchased this for me from my wish list. The timing couldn't have been better. Ontario passes back to work bill on eve of education workers strike. Ontario has passed legislation imposing a four year contract on education support workers and making a planned strike by tens of thousands of education workers on Friday illegal. Bill 28, or the Keeping Students in Class Act, uses the notwithstanding clause to legislate a contract onto workers while making it illegal to take any job action. The union has said despite the legislation, its members will take part in a province-wide strike until further notice starting Friday. However, Lecce, that's the Minister of Education, said that if they proceed with it, it will be illegal. Part of those tools include large fines for those who defy Bill 28, including fines up to $4,000 for individuals who do strike and $500,000 for unions that organize them. Can't say I'm surprised that Stephen Lecce, who participated in a fake slave auction back when he was in school, would want to force people back to work on his terms. The right to collectively bargain is protected under the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The way the notwithstanding clause was used violates that right. I'll get more into the Charter and what this means in future videos. Bill 28 should have taken weeks to prepare. Bargaining should have been attempted. Doug Ford had no intention of negotiating and planned ahead to strip people of their rights before they even had a chance to express them. On Friday, I went to two of the picket lines and talked to QP members, Lisa and Leanne, about the strike. Just on a side note, it was over 20 degrees Celsius in November in Canada. This, that, that's just, wow, that is really not good. I've been doing this job 20 years and the conditions are uh, getting worse and worse. We have more and more responsibilities and the children we're facing are uh, more and more disabled and the board doesn't want to hire uh, enough individuals. We're wanting to stand in solidarity to, to make sure that our schools have what we need for our students. That there are enough educational workers in the school to support all of the special needs that are coming to us. And that our members have a livable wage. A livable wage, yes. A yes. livable wage. So what is the current like average range for a wage? So in the province, the overall wage is $39,000. I know that our REAs at, uh, in this area actually make less than that. So they're at the bottom end of that, of that medium. And so it, we, in the last probably 20 years, there's been maybe an under $3 rate over 20 years. So inflation keeps going up, but our wage Ridiculous. increases is pennies. A lot of people like me, like I know so many of us that have two or three jobs to make ends meet. A lot of us are single, single mothers, with widows, I'm a widow. Um, and it's, it's impossible to make ends meet. And what they need to take away from our flight right now that we're fighting for is we're fighting for a better wage so that it brings us above the poverty line. QP is asking for an 11.7 raise, which may seem like a lot, 
But really, although CUPE is asking for a much higher pay raise than most workers or even unions are seeking this year, it says it's trying to make up for years of stagnant pay. From 2012 to 2021, the education workers' wages increased about 8.5%. Over that same period, inflation in Ontario rose 17.8%, meaning the workers essentially took a massive pay cut over that period. What do you want? Like the people who are saying, how dare they go on strike? How dare they keep the students out? What do you want those people to be? I want you to know that we want to be in the classroom more than anything in the world. We love our students and we love our jobs. And that's why we're still here, despite where our income is. We want to be there, but we want to be able to be there um, positively. We want to be able to have the energy to be there. We want to be able to have enough members to be in our classrooms and in our schools supporting all of the needs of our students. And you know what? It's just about the money. It never has been until now because now with inflation we just aren't making enough money anymore and, and you know so hard to pay the bills. Um, but it's also the support, the services for these children. They're taking away more and more positions and they're not hiring. Nobody wants our job. So nobody's going to go to college to take any of the courses um, because why would they come into our profession with with us making such little amount of money? Yeah. Nobody, ha no one aspires to make thirty nine thousand a year. Yes, we love the children. We do it because we love the children. But it can't be just that, right? We have to put food on the table. It is, it is a challenge. We are noticing that there are less people registering for these courses. That there are less. Um, people taking the time to be educated to take on these positions and as our staff are slowly retiring out, our numbers are dwindling. It's not just that fewer people are going into the field. More demands are being put on the people already there without compensation or supports, pushing some out of the professions. And they aren't paid enough to afford to live in the cities where their services are needed the most unless they have more than one job or living with partners, parents, roommates who are able to work and bring in an income. I myself had my face broke quite a few years ago. Um, and is there any uh, repercussions for that? No. Um, I took time off um, because my face swelled. I couldn't eat, right? Both, like black eye, look like I've been in a bar fight, and I took uh, a couple days off of work and I was being called by the court office saying, why aren't you back at work? Um, they they just don't care. Yeah. We're just a number. So we had a wonderful EA come and join in our board last year who moved here from Toronto. And five months in, she could no longer afford um, afford an apartment on her own. So she started looking for roommates, and eventually she had to resign from our board and move to another area. She couldn't afford to live in this area on the wages she was getting. But also, yeah, yeah. And what do you hope to accomplish? <laughs> Awareness. Awareness that this is a big problem. Awareness that this affects every Canadian out there. Awareness that we love our students and we've chosen these jobs for a reason. That we need more. We need to be able to live and support our own families. And that's our that's our goal. Just support us and understand and help us get this bill repealed. So what are you hoping to accomplish? <laughs> Ford will open their eyes and realize that, you know, we're fighting for the children. All around the province, people were turning out in the hundreds and even thousands to different strike locations. And as you can see from this tweet here, a recent survey shows that more people blame the provincial government for the strike and not the workers themselves. This is indicating there's been a real turn in the way that people feel about striking workers. And as you can hear from the horn honking in these videos, the strikers were getting constant support from the people driving by, which really helped to energize the striking workers. So I've noticed as you're standing here a lot of support um, as people are driving by. Do you feel like there has been a shift when it does come to issues like a strike? Because I remember back five years ago and stuff, people seem to be a lot more There's been far more support in our people. They had a few like people that have been in the room um, and yelled and done anything at us. Uh, but the majority of people have been fantastic. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
doubt about it. That song will be stuck in your head for the rest of the day. So if you want to help, please contact your MPP's office. Get those calls in. Let them know that you are supporting us. Let them know that you, you don't support Bill, Bill 24. Let them know that you want us to be in our schools just as much as we want to be there. The more we call, the more we're building awareness. The MPPs will take your call, everyone they have to log and make note of, and we can just overwhelm them with, with love and support. We can't let the government get away with this. This is the largest union. If they can do this to this union, no union is safe. So it's very important that you get out, you support workers wherever you are, however you can. And before anyone asks, well, how are we going to pay for that? From Nikki on Twitter, the approximate annual cost for the raise requested by QP is $264 million. The 200 per child bribe Lecce recently gave out cost around $365 million. The license plate renewal fee brought in approximately $1 billion each year. And that was just conveniently cancelled right before the election. She continues with, it's evident that this isn't about keeping children in school, but Ford and Lecce willful refusal to pay these vital workers at least the fair wage. The hypocrisy when Lecce states they will do anything to keep children in school demonstrates he is not fit for the position. They always seem to be able to find the money when it benefits them. From Dr. Amit, the Ontario government recently gave 43 of their MPPs a $16,000 raise, bringing their salary to $132,500 a year. So why are they refusing to provide a decent wage to Ontario's lowest paid education workers who make $39,000 a year and are just asking for a $3.25 hour raise to survive? That raise, by the way, the $16,000, that's more money than a person who must rely on ODSP gets in an entire year. If the goal was to invest in our children's future and make sure we have the people needed to educate them, it would be done. But that's not the goal. Doug Ford and conservatives across the country want the systems to fail so they can privatize them. Not just education, also healthcare and other government services people rely on. I've only scratched the surface with everything that needs to be talked about regarding this strike. More videos to come. Don't forget to hit buttons and leave comments. Follow me on Twitter, providing it's still around when you see this video. If you can, please support my channel by becoming a patron or purchase something off my wish list to help build my studio. A special thanks to those of you who already have. For more information about the strikes and to find picket lines closest to you, I've linked to QP in the description box below. I also provided a link to the list of MPPs. Find out who yours is and contact them and let them know how you feel. We are at a tipping point. If we don't fight back now, we might not get the chance later. We need to support workers and support a general strike. A better future should await the next generations. Salut, à la prochaine. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. I'm Sandy, wishing your tomorrow is better than your today.